Uh, I'm quite confident like rest of the ISRO scientists and uh, rest of the country that we will do much better because a lot of uh, changes have been done as compared to Chandrayaan 2. First is, first and foremost is more fuel has been put. Then we are using the Chandrayaan 2 orbiter. So we don't have to put the orbit, okay? So more fuel has been put on the lander as well as the propulsion module. Presently, propulsion module which is going round has got almost 150 to 160 kilograms extra fuel, so it can work much more. Now another thing is that uh, we, uh, you know, what we call the limits, okay? With disper- dispersion of uh, the sensors uh, has been increased, like you know. If you take the thrust sensor it from 48 earlier to almost 80 to 90 uh, newtons thrusters, it has been changed. The Earlier we had uh, five engines, now, which were over 440 newtons each. This time four engines have been put of almost 800 newtons. And we can change the thrust. You know, ISRO has designed the, the slew rate can be reduced. Change, thruster can be, uh, thrust can be changed. Even two the thrusters can be fired. Then the onboard, all the algorithms have been changed and they have been tested for six sigma. So six sigma is like, you know, you can tolerate one mistake in one million. That sort of thing has been done. Early, most of the time we do three sigma simulation only. Everything has been simulated considerably. Now let me talk about the sensors, which are the sensors, you know, I talked about the more fuel. Uh, one is communication link from 200 kilobits to 500 kilobits has been increased. Uh, one uh, laser Doppler velocity meter has been added, which will uh, talk about its velocity control. Then, uh, you know, we, uh, what do you call it, a hazard detection and avoidance camera has been added, which has been taking photographs. So that that we that has been done, and uh, that takes the photograph. On board computers also, there are a lot of algorithms have been changed. So the algorithms have been uh, upgraded in such a way that we go for simulation by Six Sigma. You know, I told you. So, and there is a parallel algorithms are there. Then, uh, uh, I mean, you see, there is a carbon altimeter is there. So we can find out the exact location, you know, height. Then laser altimeter is there about the Chandrayaan 2 and the extra for changing the direction and orientation extra 8 thrusters have been added okay and all the slew rates can be changed means you know you can change their thrust levels the slew rate means like changing the thrust levels etc uh, and it has got a capacity to hover now before it lands all the navigation tools you know navigation sensors etc they are calibrated absolute calibration is done like, you know, the star sensor is there using the star sensor. Capsule calibration is done of the laser gyros which are there inside it. Similarly, other things, calibrations are also done it. So, and then when uh, there is a whole, there is a capability that whole lander can hover, you know, like a helicopter hovers it. So, suppose it, uh, if they find out that pro- uh, proper place is not there, it can hover. Because South Pole is a... Uh, you know, there are a lot of uh, boulders are there. There are uh, craters are there. It's very rough. So you can find out. Then the area, landing area has been increased from 2.5 kilometers to 4 kilometers. That's another thing. And the whole moon has been mapped using Orbiter 2 pair cameras, which has got a resolution of 25 centimeters. So those photographs have been upgraded. And what sort of photograph is taken, they will be compared and so found out which is a suitable site. And then it can hover. Not only this, suppose if you are not able to land it, then on 27 month can land. Chairman Isra has given a statement that if everything fails, even two thrusters for propulsion works, we can land it. So that sort of confidence there, a lot of changes have been done, a lot of simulations have been done, both software-wise, hardware-wise, things have been simulated on ground.